down the game today, Pete? Say it again. Uh, pretty good all-around play. Um, guys played good and hard. This is the first chance to really get closer to a game-type situation. We've been working on situations and segments, and now we put them together, and uh, we really were able to see a lot of stuff. So the film should be a great film for us to see and get in preparation for next week. Russell looked like he was really on it again today. What have you seen? Today? Yeah, he's had a couple of really a few good days just back to back to back, and he's really on it. So uh, he's getting uh, we changed his reps a little bit. I want to give him some more reps to make sure he's getting enough turns. And, and since we've done that, he's really even picked up. So he's doing great. He's in good shape, and uh, he's whipping the ball around really well. How about CJ Prozac? I thought he did well today. You know, he looks great. He's in, he's in really full, uh, full tempo now. Um, kind of just let him just kind of blend in for a bit. You know, to make sure that he's out here for for the long haul. He is. He's in good shape right now. He looks great. Unfortunately, he was sick just starting out camp. But other than that, he's he's done everything and uh, he had a couple of really good plays today. Pete, what's the status of Frank? Right? Uh, Frank should be back um, next week. Um, he missed a couple of days here, uh, coach's discretion, and. Uh, other than that, he's, he has a, a little knee thing that he's working on. Make sure that he's okay. But uh, he should be back next, maybe uh, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know what day it is, but like Wednesday, Thursday, somewhere in there. We signed Ian. We signed Ian. We signed Ian. Yeah. Um, it's something that's, that, that's been bothering him a little bit. It's, it's very slight. We know what's going on. That was not really the, the issue. Uh, what's going on? What about Jermaine and Fetty? Um, he'll, he did work uh, in the early part of practice today, and he'll be ready to go. Um, on what day is today? Today's Monday, so Tuesday's off, so Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm back. Um, yeah, he's just a little sore from all the work. I just want to make sure and, and not push him too far, knowing that there's a big day coming up. He's done everything up until now, and uh, he's done really well. Really like him uh, in both spots. Um, so it's the experiment of, you know, can he play both spots? Could he be a starter in both spots? Yes, is what we feel. And we're really excited about that. And so we're going to see how it fits together with the other guys. George Fanton has done a really nice job, and George making a real, a real plea to, uh, uh, to, make, to be the left tackle for us. And so um, things are going very well in that, in, in that regard. You said that he isn't really wide. This is a coach, coach's decision. How about Jermaine? Was he in, out because of injury? Or um, yeah, he's, he was banged a little bit. He's okay. Um, he's got a slight uh, soft tissue thing going on that should be. He ran yesterday. He ran today. He should be ready to go on Wednesday. What's the update on McDowell? Um, he, you know, he had a serious accident. He had the multiple injuries. Uh, had the injury to his head. Um, it's going to be quite a while, and we're going to have to wait it out. And uh, so we're just. He's on NFI. Yeah. NFI, and uh, he's going to be there for a while. And. Um, we're just going to have to see how he progresses uh, really down the road. Does not, we're not looking for him getting back in the immediate, uh, not even for the, the first game of the season, that kind of stuff. We're going to wait it out and see how he does. Just to clarify on Frank, he wasn't injured during that fight, or do you know that? Or not? No, he was not. When he comes back, is that, are you done with it? Frank Park, is that you're moving on from this, or is there a long-term question? We're moving on, with, we're moving on from here, yeah. Really natural player. He fits in beautifully. He's really rotated with with uh, Cam and Earl. So we feel like we got three starting safeties there that are working it, and uh, that's a great bonus for us. It's the best we've been um, with that kind of experience and playmaking ability. I think you guys are going to really like him. Uh, he, he does all kinds of stuff. Really natural football player. And he'll look better when, we, when we're tackling and running and hitting because he's really aggressive uh, um, from the back end. Casey Williams was on today? Uh, yeah, he got uh, somebody fell on the back of his leg yesterday on a catch, and just uh, seems like he has a bruise or something in his lower leg that wasn't worth uh, putting him out there to today. Not a serious thing, but it is something that's bothering him a little bit. What stands out with this group of pass catching weapons that Russell has? Just, I don't know. I think there's a real diversity here. You know, you know, when you go across the board and start with Doug, and Doug can do everything, um, with exceptional, you know, playmaking receiver for us in, in all phases. Um, we've got really good speed. Uh, Locke can run. Uh, Paul can run. Uh, Nuke can run. I mean, everybody's fast. Uh, we have um, uh, curses. It can do everything. Um, you see that uh, uh, Darbo is a guy that looks to be kind of in that mold. Big, strong kid that can do everything. He runs really fast. He's caught everything we've thrown at him. Really smart. Um, and, and we think he's going to be a physical guy in special teams as well. All the way to the end, of the other end of the spectrum where Tanner is. You know, Tanner's a big guy, 235 pounds, playing wide receiver. And for Tanner, this is really his second full year. You know, we're just starting a second year at playing receiver for us. And, and 
He looks very comfortable at the position, and he's, he's unique. And uh, so as, as he gets back into it, he's really just kind of re-entering. Uh, we're we're going to see how it fits. You know, It's going to be a really interesting group to put together. Um, McKissick is an interesting kid for us, too, because he's, he's got a lot of versatility, and he's a returner as well. Um, the return of uh, Tyler Lockett really makes this really special because uh, Tyler can, can do everything. And um, so it's a fun group. I don't know. I probably left somebody out, but it was a good group. Yeah, Jimmy's the best he's looked. He's really in great shape. Uh, he's very confident. Feels good. Can work every day. Um, we'll we'll start to work that in uh, later. But uh, he's on it, you know. And he's blocking really well. He's really become the, the Y blocker for us when we want him. We can run right at him. We expect him to be a dominant guy at the line of scrimmage. That's that's a change. That's really a change. It's really just he's just worked at it and developed it. He didn't really see himself as a blocker in the past. He does now, and uh, he's really good. What have you been able to learn about Eddie Lacy in the days you have with the Pats? Eddie's doing great. He hasn't missed anything. Uh, he's uh, been very attentive to everything that we're doing. He can catch the football well. We know he can run thick and heavy. You don't get to see all of that uh, right now. He's in good shape. Um, he's done everything we've asked him. He's, he's done a great job. So we're gonna, we get to get these games, and it's going to take us a while. But as we get to these games, everybody's going to get the football. We'll just see how it feels with, with the different guys running. Because we have a lot of diversity in the running back spot as well. Yeah, the back. Yep, yep. He's been per perfectly on track. No, we don't think so. We don't think so. But it's going to, it's, we have to wait. You know, he's just turned 21. Uh, we just got to wait him out. He's a real young kid, so he's got plenty of time to get well. And you know, but uh, we have to make sure and take care of him. And do you understand the circumstances of the injury? How it happened? Yeah, I, I know more so. Yeah, and I have talked to him about it and all of that. Um, I think for the the family, we've we've told them they had asked us. You know, so how did how. Did, Express what all that took place and all that, and we're complying with that. Is there a chance he plays this year, though? Or? I don't know that. I'd like, like to think, I'd like to hope so, but I don't know that. Is he in town? He has been. He went back home. But what's the next step for him? He's just got to wait it out. Just got to wait out, wait out recovery. He's not working out yet. He can't do anything as far as the physical workouts. He's walking is what he's doing, and he feels fine. Uh, you know, and he, and he, 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 it's very frustrating for him because he feels fine, but he, he's just got to make it through the recovery. I don't even know what day it is today. I don't know. It was a couple days ago. <laughs> After he was here. But I can't help you. I don't even know. Can you give any more clarity to this thing? Can you talk about it? Concussion, fracture? Well, well, certainly there's a concussion involved. Um, but yeah, he. No. No, there's not. You were a big George fan. The game started just all the way to the end of the What have you seen from him just from the technique standpoint? Um, the first thing you got to talk about is confidence. His confidence is so much higher than it was before. He, did, he didn't think of him last year at this time. We've been eight days old or something, you know. He's just on a whole different plane of understanding what's going on and expectations. Um, and he continues to grow and learn and figure stuff out too. But he's just way ahead of where he was. Physically, it's not even the same athlete. You know, his feet still move like his feet move, but he's just so much more powerful upstairs and in his lower body that it's made him a different athlete. And, and, uh, and he's finding that he's able to gird down in and take on you know, power rushes, and, and he, he, which he wasn't very confident in before. Uh, he can move with, as he has to move with the fast guys when he's got to pop out. Uh, his run blocking it was aggressive last year, but it's aggressive, and he's feeling more punch to him. I mean, everything about him is better. And so uh, it's really fun to watch, and, and he's really excited about it. His attitude has been just perfect about, about taking on these second-year challenges. What do you think about where the backup quarterback battle is right now? Uh, I'm, you know, I think we're just in the middle of it. I don't know. You know, I, I always say that when I when I don't know what to tell you because I don't know right now. Um, both guys have done some really good things, and uh, they're real different. So we got to step back from it in time. You know, we will get some games under our belt, and in time we'll figure out you know what it looks like when we're playing with Austin and, and with Trayvon. Um, they both have had days where they've won the day and all that kind of stuff. Russell's on fire right now that it's hard for them to catch him, but uh, still they're, um, they've been making plays. And I'm really anxious to see how this looks today. I won't know until I see the film. How is Shaquille picking up the technique? Um, I'm pretty excited about him. He's doing really well. Uh, he has only taken positive steps. Um, he's learning well. He's, um, he's serious. He's uh, got a mentality, I think, that, he, that it's going to allow him to deal with the issues, the challenges of playing, you know, and, and, and when Richard's on that side and there's a guy over there, you're getting the ball a lot, you know, and that's going to come. He's going to get a, a lot of work. We're trying to work him in practice like that so he'd have a sense for that. Uh, Jeremy Lane being out has given him an opportunity to go with the ones, which has been great for him to get in the huddle with those guys. He's really fast. He's got really good hands. He's got natural movement. He's very strong. 
Uh, he's got good feel, feel for playing the football. There's just nothing but positives. And, and uh, we've never had a guy that runs this fast, that's this big. And uh, so it's really, right now, it is all about technique. And he has no problem with it, but he'll get a lot better. He'll understand situations and, and, and uh, the application of technique much more so. It's just going to take time. So we're going to get a lot of play time in preseason. We'll see how he does. You guys have already obviously used the deep defense a lot. Uh, when we had enough good guys to do it, <laughs> you know, it, yeah. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know about the league. The league seems like in the old days they were pretty, pretty standard with their guys. Um, I know that we've always wanted to maintain a high level of, of effort and, and speed, and so we felt it was more important. Maybe the guy didn't have quite as much as the guy ahead of him, but yet he could maintain by coming off the bench and coming on with a real burst. We've always tried to, to do that uh, in the effort to make our defense really be fast and, and athletic. So that I mean, that goes well back into our college days in that regard. So. Did you do that as a Did you have that as a defense? Yes. What's yes. good for Jaron Rito? Um, he's, he's got a slight groin pull. He, he did work individual today, so he'll work on Wednesday. He's in good shape, ready to go. You had a Nasir running uh, first team He did go with the first group today, yeah. And I'm really anxious to see how he did. He's done very well. Uh, Nas has been um, really attentive. He's a big, mobile guy. He's got a lot of good positives that are obvious. We want to see him play football. This will be a good indication to see how he's reacting to things, if he's finding football and all that kind of stuff. But we're really pleased with his movement and his strength. Um, so Johnny got us a good guy. We just got to see how he fits in. Marcus Smith and Delano Hill have been out? Um, yes. Um, again, those are um, with uh, Marcus and, and Delano. They both have just soft tissue things, really slight little nagging things going on here that we just have to wait out a couple days. Um, I, I know that I talked to Delano today. He did run today. Um, I'm not sure how far along Marcus is. I think he's a hair behind that. But they're, they're minor groin things that they got to just get through. Jeremy, did you say you expect him back soon to Jerry Lane? Uh, yeah, he, yeah. I think he's got a chance to be back for Wednesday. Is DJ Alexander the same thing? Or? Yeah, he's got he's got a little bit of an old knee that, that just kind of acted up in camp, and we're just taking care of him. Justin Senior and Deion Jordan are they any closer to getting out here with you at this point? Totally different cases. Um, Justin Senior's got a knee that's bothering him before he got to, we started camp. Did not pass the physical, so he's uh, he has just started running today. So he's a long ways out of shape. It's going to be a while before we can get him in condition. I don't know how long that's going to take. Well, uh, Deion Jordan is making his, his effort to get back. Um, he is running on the ground now and, and uh, a lot of straight ahead stuff. He's gone through a lot to get to this point, and we're going to take our time. And see whenever it happens, it happens as far as his conditioning and his readiness to play. Uh, he's a lot closer than Senior is. Um, we're excited about that, but it's going to you know, it's gonna be a race to the last game of the preseason, I think, at this point. He's not been able to condition with us yet, um, you know, with the guys that are on the field. So he's three, four weeks away from really being we're to the point where we can make an evaluation. We'll see. It'll be a race to the season to see how that goes. Mike Davis has been out as well. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm, I keep talking about uh, these are hamstrings and groins. I think I think he's got a hammy. I think I think it is, but soft tissue again, a slight a slight pull that's just holding him back. We're trying to be real careful with these guys. We've been very fortunate so far. Today was a really good day. Just one other guy got a little something, and uh, so if we can come out of this, and get into the next week, we'll be in pretty good shape for the first game. Keith Wilson's had a bunch of catches the last two days. Just how important, uh, maybe a little under the radar, but getting him back. Yeah, I, I love that we got got Luke back. He's such a great team member for us. Uh, he's really good at doing everything. He, he knows our offense exceedingly well. He can be the move guy, the why. He can split out. He can do all of those things. He's, you can see him. He's really been active the last few days. Um, but it, with all that, we love the way he plays, but he's a better teammate. And he's a, just a spark plug guy on a football team, and we needed him here. And I, I, it's a fantastic job of getting him re-signed and getting him out here. We love that.